What was the last thing we were doing? That's the real question. Boundary. Wait, no. Would make sense. Complete dream machine. Ah, uh, yes. We need to do this. How the hell? Uh, we just finished the freaking. Uh. Murder mystery thing. Even though I don't know if I chose the right. person or not. Planescape Torment, here we go. Uh, yeah, we let's do this like dream machine thing. Uh, beer, beer, let me get some water for this. Time is precious. Let us not squander it here. Is everyone ready to go? Huh. Oh, I was BRB. This is pretty. Yo, Rhymes, how you doing? Yo, we're playing Planescape Torment. It is a... Time is precious. Computer RPG made in the 90s based on the... Tabletop... Game... A Planescape. Huh. It's the same people who worked on Baldur's Gate. Black Isle Studios? Time is precious. Let us not squander And it it's here. basically just a long book. Because it's a lot of reading. I'm gone. So I just like ran upstairs. Let me just make my, let me, let me make sure my commands are working. Every time I open up OBS, I don't know if it works or not. Hell yeah. Double check a daily streams. And a skull, and a skull. Uh, TLDR, we are nameless one. We are an immortal guy. I woke up in a mortuary. With a talking skull next to us. Talking skull be like, Hey yo, there's some tattoos on your back. 
it says that you are immortal. Uh, find your journal. Find a guy named Farad. And I guess there's been multiple uh, uh, incarnations of us because everywhere we go, apparently there's, our past selves have been trying to kill us. Saying stuff like, you don't belong in this body. And, uh, yes. So we have to find a witch lady named Ravel Puzzlewell, who is a very, very, very bad person. But apparently they can help us with our Im immortality issue. I need to hydrate. Okay, let's see. What does this person have to say? This guy is talking about a dream machine. What I need to begin the final stage of the, of the dream machine is a piece of your skin immersed in your blood. So the machine can familiarize yourself, itself with your physical essence. It must be in a blue-green bottle to symbolize the dream sea on which you will float. Where the heck do I find that? There's RPG elements with fighting and stuff, but it really just feels like a point-and-click adventure. Because it's just a lot of reading and just go find this, talk to this person, do this, talk to this person. And so forth. I don't know what I want. Blood, fresh blood bottle. Okay. Now where the hell did we get that? I'm gone. This is a long game, Zetobot. We're already, we're already, sixty hours into this Done. game, and I feel like we're maybe halfway through. It's hard to tell. Uh, maybe, maybe Sarosa? Nope. I joined the gods, I'm, I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that as a faction. That guy just walked backwards. What the hell? Hmm. Where did we get? Okay, we have the that bloody handkerchief. How do we get our blood on a? I oh, mm, mm. What if? Well, if we get a handkerchief, and Dumb. then we can put our blood on it. Where do we get a bottle? You sell bottles? All right. You sell bottles? You sell spells. Allows you to copy cloak of warding. What do you sell? Nothing. Bag in the shield. Armor class four for a thousand? Oh, that's tempting. Invokes blindness. Hmm. 
All right. Blood. Such a vial of skin and blood. He specifically said green bottle too. Well, we just get a regular handkerchief. Do we Done. need one? There's gotta be one here, right? Needle and thread. What's a what quest do we have left? Because if we if we do this, if we use the frickin' portal. Probably ought to make sure you have everything you need. You might not be in sigil, sigil for a long time. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. Complete the... Uh, discover the weakness. Alright, well... Find the source of Farad's body. I don't even know if we can do that. Alright. Because what's his face is pissed at us. I'm gone. We go to Rag Picker Square. Done. Titus Valley. I just talked to him. I can't. Damn. Yeah, no. All right. See that that quest is kind of broken because I can't do that anymore. Ron Williams or Crystal dead. Don't care about that. I met a bad woman named Ingris running around. She was raving about doors and keys, and she claimed that the whole city was a series of portals to other places. She said she was a young girl, but she accidentally stepped through a portal and ended up trapped in the city. If you can. If I can find an, exper an experience. Plane walker, perhaps he could guide her home. Do I know one? Do I know anyone that's an experienced plane walker? Done. I don't remember. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Gra Grace, fall from Grace. Right? I assume. I assume fall from Grace counts as an experienced plane walker. Done. Where is she? Hmm. Goddamn thugs got here. Does that go in my inventory? No. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. I'm gone. Uh. Or what's her face?
them. Huh? Rumor has it you managed to destroy Morador's box. I guess congratulations are in order. Still, it's too bad I couldn't decipher all the spells that were used to contain the fiend. Uh, uh, it's too bad, huh? It is a real shame, I um, guess. Where's Ingress? I thought Ingress was in that area. Oh, I know it's nighttime. Postman, post. Sug. Harlot. The post. Okay. Where to? Where to? Oh, Ingress. There she is. Greetings, Ingress. Huh? You? She squints at you. What is it you want from want? What is it you want of me now? Let me leave. I'll leave in the city. So I'm not. I can't. I tried. It's not a city. It's a prison. Everywhere. How'd you get here? Oh, why can't you go back? They're... Tried. She tries to sob again, but no tears come. Tried. All doors here lead to other places. She shudders and grips her melted right hand. Went through thrice ten portals. Some a poor... Some a purpose, some an accident, some of them right. Can't find way right, way back. There must be a portal that can take you back. Can't even li leave here, the square, and there, the place of death behind the gate waits for me. She points at the mortuary behind the gate, then turns back to you, her face desperate. Can't go anywhere in this city. You can't go anywhere. What do you mean? Anything can be could be a door. Any archer there, any door here, could be a portal. Don't know the key. Could just send in another play horrible place. Her teeth sh start shattering again. Gotta stay away from the closed places spaces. All it could be doors. Could be a key on me, and I not be knowing it. You, you're afraid to go through any door or arch because it might be a portal. She nods, her teeth chattering. How long have you been afraid of this? She squints. The last time I walked through that last portal, the place where my hand. She stops. Since my tenth, tenth turn in. My fourth, tenth turn in now. Wait, so 40, 30 years? Her teeth begin chattering again. 30 years. You haven't walked through any door for 30 years. Her vision seems to clear slightly. She looks up at you, her teeth still chattering. If you got here, there must be a portal to get you back. It's only a matter of time to... She smiles. Her teeth aren't chattering because she is cold. They are moving around inside her mouth. Her gum is twisting as her teeth shift about. 
They rise and recede as you watch, chattering as they rattle against each other. What? She hisses at you. Only well, takes one portal to you steps through accident to drive the fear into you. I went through thrice ten. Lost my hand, burned my flesh, and lost my sense. She looks at her feet. No more, no more. I'm sorry. If I can find some means to help you, I will. Farewell. I don't really have anyone yes. that can, like, fall from grace doesn't count. Very well. I'm gone. Okay. Find the decanter of endless water. A spe speaking head named Gleave, situated in the Weeping Stone Catacombs, has asked me to fetch it a decanter of fresh water to release it from its curse. Find Craddock or Bane the Sender. He was a giant, stern-looking man. If I find Craddock, I'll deliver the message, then go back and tell Bane. My night hag. That's really it, huh? And there ain't much to explore. Watched? In enduring yeah. gross drop, I hear your words. Hmm? I'm hurt. Oh. I'm hurt. The Karak sings true. Another trip to the mortuary. You have okay, awakened. Right. Back in the mortuary. Maybe there's something we missed here. Surely. Oh, I can talk to these people now, though. Stories bones tell. This corpse does not stir. It looks like it's far gone to answer questions. Okay. Never mind. Doll. Sound ill, or you're not Will. Will? Well. I'm close now to the true death, the restless one. There might be some way to help you. I do not wish to live forever, nor live again, restless one. I cannot bear it. As you turn to leave, Dal speaks. Know this, I do not envy you, restless one. To be reborn as you would be a curse that I could not bear. You must come to terms with it. At some point your path will return you here. Dal coughs the sound rattling in his throat. It is the it is the way of all things flesh and bone. The spirit suddenly seems to notice you. He flashes a disalarming, friendly grin, popping all the stitches around its mouth loose with a sudden movement. Momentarily surprised, he touches his hand to his lips, shrugs, and nods an informal greeting. Where? Where am I? 
Such an odd place. Do I know you? He coughed gently, rubbing at his stiffened throat. You, your remains, you, your remains, at least, are in the mortuary. He mulls it over for a moment and laughs. Yes! Ugh. That would make sense, wouldn't it? How do I know you? He cocks his head to one side, peering at you intently. He seems to regard discerning how you... He seems to regard discerning your identity as some sort of amusing game. No, I doubt you know me. Got some questions. Ah, never mind. I don't think there's really anything for the mortuary. Ivine, can you get like blood from me? Have to get her attention. I must have looted everything here. Well, that one's locked. Containers locked. Ready. Right. Unlock it. I'm gone. Ancient copper earring. Closed. It's usable. This copper earring looks ancient. Oddly enough, there doesn't seem to be a hook or any means of, means of actually attaching it to your ear. A series of strange grooves have been curved, carved on the side of the earring, however, which might merit a closer examination. If you are ever capable of examining object further, use the... This copper earring looks extremely old. It looks like it was meant to be worn, but there doesn't seem to be a hook or any means of it actually attaching it to your ear. Examine the grooves. The grooves are evenly spaced along the inside of the earring. Upon closer examination, they remind you of small fangs. They're definitely man-made, but you can't figure out what they were intended for. Insert your fingernail in the notch that matches where the triangle was pointing in the flying circle you saw on Zombie 97's head. You hook your fingernail into the third groove from the top and press it inwards. As you do, there is a click in the top, and the top of the earring snaps open. Not only can you wear the earring now, it also looks like there is a secret compartment inside the earring. Shake the earring, see if anything comes out. You shake the earring, but nothing comes out. Whatever was hidden in the earring is now gone. Discovering the lash in the earring will allow you to wear it. In addition, the secret compartment will make the earring more valuable to a merchant. Neat. More valuables. Valuable. The spell's already in the current book. Alright. Okay. Then what's up with these stairs? All right. Jesus. Why you gotta do that, dude? All right. All right. Hi. 
This one's locked. Might as well. Anything else locked? Oh, that one's locked. Yo, Wayne, how you doing? Can you just locked? We're having a wonderful day and night. We're playing some Planescape. Yes. Leave quickly. Oh, God damn it. I was leave. Just came out of the shower? All right. Hell yeah. Okay, I guess we'll just leave. I don't think there's anything really here. Why is some Brooklyn right. 99? I haven't seen that in forever. Years even. Hopefully, hope, hopefully it uh, still holds up. Giant skeleton. Yeah, okay. Season six now? Damn. Binge in four days? Are you like watching it again or is it your first time? I'm gone. First time? Oh, nice. What are your thoughts so far? I'm gone. It's funny. It's friggin' Done. funny. It's good. Alright, let's go to the buried village and let's go to the friggin' sewers. Or maybe, maybe, what, what's her face over here can like give us blood and skin. Jake and Amy got married. I'm gone. That's awesome. It's cool when uh, shows really like develop the character as well, you know. Can I buy needle and thread from you? She seems confused. Bye, jink, jink. Hey, you here? Pick up some. That's what you're here for, ain't you? Pick up the thread bones, rattling teethies. Yeah, I'm here to pick them up. Huh? Here's what she came for. I right, passes you items. All I have. Huh? Whoa, bone gauntlets. Excuse me? These bone gauntlets look sturdier than leather. They are uncomfortable to wear. The bone seems to bite into the skin when the gauntlets are worn. The slight greenish shade of the bone makes uncertain what kind of bones the gauntlet are fashioned from. Yo, bones! Identify. Do we not have a... Hmm. We could do this. Identify via spell. Usable by fighters and thieves. These gauntlets have had many names over the centuries. Some have termed the gauntlets the gauntlets of hunger. Other have... Other terms have ranged from gloves of greed. Or among the stupidest, the nan... Nanish, gnashing gloves. Okay. 
This is better than these. This is fighter and oh, fighter and thieves. Huh. Well, I can't really use them, huh? It's got bandages and a thread and needle. Oh, it's a heart charm and blood charm. You did get my body for anything. Uh, have you got anything else you've pulled from corpses that I can have? No. Good rest. <clears throat> All right. Have we explored everything here? Let me just check. Because we're pretty strong now. Yes, I? Can you just unlock this? What's up? Nice. All right. Oh, shoot. They didn't like that. They didn't like that. Done. They did not like that. All right. These freaking ghouls out of here. Die. Brr. My quick loot. Ooh, hell yeah, money. Hi. Done. What's in here? Good stuff. Playtime is over. Next one. Did you see that? Nice. Hmm? I use all my priest, huh? Ready. All the jewelry here, weapons here. Your you old keys. Bombing fluid. So I'll hold on to that. One to six, identify. Identify for the spell. One to six piercing plus one enchanted 
plus one in piercing. Proficiency edge. Can't use that, huh? Guess I can always put them like in my inventory at least. You like these dagger things, huh? That cell. Okay, wait. How about, how about we give these weapons to you? The ones that we're gonna sell. Because we're not gonna use them anyways. Bone dagger. Put that away. Right, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Quiver? Wait, what? Where do you have freaking bow and arrows in this? This is the corpse of a man who, with a surprised look on his beak nose, it's hard to tell how he died. Whether from numerous horrific slashing wounds across his abdomen and throat, or from blood loss incurred when his right arm was nearly severed from his shoulder. As the corpse replies to you, its voice rattles in its throat. Uh, no, no, beast must run. Why do I feel so, so pain, so, so numb? Am I drunk? Can't I feel me hands and me legs? What? Last thing I remember is being pushed in here. The boys being slashed by some pikin thing. Who are you? Who the hell's Grist? Eh? Who in the nine hells are you? Show yourself! Ah. Uh -huh. But the hairy arse of Pan himself, dead and I. I'm afraid so. Can you answer me some questions? I always knew it'd come to this. Tell me, Cutter. Am I still in the catacombs? Yes. The corpse's voice is bitter. Figure is, I it does. Do them a good turn and they'll tur do nothing for you. Right. I just want to ask some questions. The corpse lets a loose, a gusty sigh. What do you want to know, Burke? What happened to you anyway? We and the boys had just popped in. We and the boys had just popped this crypt. And it was harder than picking a chastity belt, I'm telling you. After tearing and prying at the door for a little past eternity, got in here. And we were looking at opening the main crypt when me blood starts shouting. And this, this thing, slashes me and dumps me into the crypt. I'm fighting it, and I hear them start running. Me bloods, what happened to them? Where be Bert loading? They make it or they in the dead book. They're dead. Aye, good. I hate to think they got away with me. Left the ear out for dead. I had some other questions. What can you tell me about the catacombs? There are stomping grounds. Lots of ripe crypts down here. Near a touch. Near untouched by anyone in over a... He pauses. Oh, a lot of years, by my reckoning. Me and the boys have cracked a lot of crypts down here. We just got into this one when the problem happened. What happened? Oh. Either dead. No questions. 
What crypts can you tell me about? There's a one to the left of the entrance with a bunch of uh, them barge ghoul heads flying about. Don't want to be messing there with without a lot of torches and some crossbows. Torches and crossbows? There's a crypt of twenty tiles to the right of the entrance and down a ways. And there's the one I was exploring before the unfortunate circumstance. I figured that the crypt with the pretty tiles has got some secrets about it. It smells different, and there's a secret chamber somewhere about. But I can't figure a way in. Where is it? Down through the drowned nations away. Don't remember exactly. Alright. Tell me about yourself. Chris. Chris the Vulture. They call me, uh... Gris, Gris the Vulture. They called me that on account of being able to smell our crypts and snatch the best loot for anyone else knew it was there. Spent most of my time piking out bodies, picking out dead bodies. I don't grudge the corpse with her toe and nut and turns to you. You know why they call him Gris the Vulture, don't ya? It's cause he just got a large beak on him. His nose always walking a few feet ahead of him. Gris, eh? Let the other villagers know he's dead. Well, I'm freaking dead, it looks like. Give him my worst regards, then. The blighters are probably already picking through my stash and scounging my corpse. Your stash. I had a little bit tucked away near me keep. A little bit that was... A little bit that that we as in crusty blighter Pharaoh didn't know about. It's to the right of that. Reach our Hojo's place. Oh. Hmm. 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 If I remember correctly. Hojo. Farewell. Where did you say Quinch Charm was? Told ya. It's on the left side of Marta's home. Crazy. Corpse which hit in a pile of fuse. Look long enough, you'll find it. I'm Jews. Uh, I did it near Ojo. I, I hid it near this place, figure none. Other was to raise the jink raised me. This is your last one. I'll be tired to know that you can have it. Up on the right side of his house. Hopefully, I didn't find already, right? Well, thanks, Chris. Done. The corpse jerks visibly, as if electric current ran through it. Greetings. Hannah shuffles her feet nervously. It's best not to muck with the dead. But it's a bad luck, so it does. Perhaps it will have some answers for us. Forget it. What's over here? I don't think we've been through this. Oh... Okay. I'm gone. Ah, shoot. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. I hear your words. How may I help? It's AoE. I don't think any of it's AoE. I'm here. I will hear you. That cannot be to do it. Seems. 
a little out of practice, it seems. Did you see that? God, they don't stop coming. They don't stop coming. Get them! Kill all of them! Focus on one! I'm gone. Oh my god. May my face lend me strength. His bones look like they've been gnawed extensively. His supports used to hold sarcophagus, apparently. They apparently used to have something in them. They don't anymore. This furniture is evidence that someone used to make this crypt their home. Daggers of Morin. These daggers were once wielded by Morin. Morin? The Jinx. Morin was a hapless young woman who became a thief through a series of disasters. Each of these accidents resulted in the death of a trainer for whatever profession she chose. With the luck provided by her new blades, Morin was actually able to successfully strike an opponent in combat, which came as a shock to her. While her opponent was busy bleeding, Morin would make good her escape. Huh. The cursed? I'm assuming it would tell me if it was cursed, right? Money. Guess that's that. Done. Die. Next. Damn. Playtime is over. Just folly. Greetings. Never mind. Hey, you, Wall, talk to me. I beg you, please find it and ease my torment. Alright, I got some questions. What do you want me to do for you again? Water. Brush water from a magical flask in the drowned nations. And how do I get there? Through the dead nations where the dead walk and rule. Through the warren of thought. Water, dead nations, got it. Is it not this? Not just a pouch. Mm hmm Drowned nations. There's a dead nations. I got a farewell.
Mosaic Crypt. I what? Detect traps. Why not? They're all traps. Oh, too I'm close. gone. Okay, then that's and then that. Okay. We're ignoring those guys. Trying to ignore all them. I'm gone. Dead nations. Chapel. Can I rest here? I don't remember. Let me ask someone in particular. The Silent King. Tell me of your own kind. Riddling skeleton. <laughs> Puzzled skeleton. Give me the riddle again. Was freaking Hagrim? Hagrim. Hagrim. Thanks for the rest. Appreciate it. Flask and the Drowned Nations. That'd be water there. Read the inscription. Here lies beloved, love, beloved mother of Bajin. Ah. Hmm. 
Uh oh. Oh, you're ambushed. Oh no. Playtime is over. Oh, another one. Die. Damn it. Damn. What's that? Decanter. There it is. Warhammer. That's pretty cool. Pretty neato. Oh, we're going, ignoring all that. I think it's because like we're stronger now. It's not as that was scary being in there. All right. Done. Done. Oh, my God. Damn it, damn. There we go. Yes, I have it. A note of eagerness creeps into the leaves. A dead voice. You have it. Pour some of it. It's water across. My lips and I shall tell you what I promised to tell you. Here you go. The clear water from the flask trickles across the stone lips, diluting the filthy flow that spews from the holes. As you watch, the ditch's water slowly dissipates entirely. The, the dirty taint of it replaced by clear, fresh water. Clive groans in ecstasy. After a moment, he says, Do you wish your answer now or later? Wait, what was the question? Wait, what was the answer? Wait, what? I don't remember. It's been like hours since I last talked to this thing. Give it to me now. Seek out the woman called Nemo. She resides in the clerk's ward in Upper Sigil. I know not. I know not where exactly. Best of luck in your quest, mortal. The voice seems... Oh, okay. Hey, we already talked to Nemo. Updated my journal. A woman named Nemo and they might have find... Leash the full power of the decanter. Fellas water. Oh, okay. I know where that is. I know who should that. I know who that is. I'm gone. Oh shoot, I have to pay you, huh? Oh, cool. You have to pay. That's nice of him. Might be useful putting out fires. <gasps> Ingress? No, not Ingress. Uh, the other dude? Freaking Ignis? Mm hmm. All right. That'd be Pog. A lot of collectors right there. Oh shoot, wait. All right. Done. Hey, I didn't I didn't collect the stuff I want to collect. 
Gotta go all the way back. Gris was nice enough to let us know where to go. I'm gone. But did you say it was right of it? Well, it's already talked to Stash. Done. Hey, Ojo. You see a burly, you see a burly man with a slav black jaw. The spark of intelligence is in his eyes a little more than a. Brief flare. What are you doing? Tell me about yourself. Who are you? Some questions. Tell me about the catacombs. Where is, uh... I'm gone. Where is Stash at? Where is this it? It's quite possible that was the Stash. I already, like, picked it up. Cleric's ward. All right. I'm gone. I wanna rather have it daytime so shadows don't go attacking me. Now, are you still here? In the mail. Uh Look clasps her hand Namel clasps her hand together and bows her head. When she finally looks up and smiles at you, a wave of pleasure washes over your body. The effect is almost dizzying. Namel thanked the stranger once more. She only hoped he would He knew how happy she felt to be reunited with Aelwyn. Not a problem, I was told you know the command word for this decanter. The woman makes no move to touch or examine the, the decanter, but only speaks. Nimel, Nimel took it from the stranger, turning it in her hands. Had she seen its like before, she thought? Perhaps, yes. She remembered now. She returned the decanter. She returned the decanter, whispering into his ear as she did so. Uh, Updated my journal. You realize you know the word now. Nudinosage. 
Though you're certain the woman never whispered to you, but merely said she did. She blinks at you. Would the stranger leave her now, satisfied with what she had told him? Yes, I will. Farewell. Wait, do you have questions? Alright. Can I just, do I have, do I, do I? All right. All right. Let's just quick save here. All right. Baby, bird. Oh, baby, bird. Oh. Look at that. We, we might as well sell our stuff anyways. A little quick save here instead. Thanks, my dudes. I'm gone. I'm gone. You see that? That's so annoying. You know, boss, I was getting really sick of this constant pauses anyway. Good thing he's shut up now. Oh, okay. Never mind. Endure. Your path is mine. Done. Let's Done. go sell a bunch of stuff to this guy, Quint. Let's talk trades. Saw that earring? No, oh, I can sell it. Song, leather apron, pouch. Wait, do I need a pouch? Forge hammer. So. Chanted antler, green steel. So. Big money, let's go. Oh, we have six K now. All right. Done. Oh, we have to run all the way back again. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. All right.
Hmm. Let's go here first, just so we can rest. All right. No. Wrong area. Go in I'm here gone. to rest. Good sir. I don't need to see you as far. She'll turn in as she will. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. Okay. Save game. Call it. Rescue Ingress. No, Ig and oh no, Ignis. All right. What other places can you recommend? Environment. Tell me of keys and portals. You see a soft looking man with gentle, far staring eyes. He dresses in supple leather clothing and carries very. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go freaking rescue Burning Man. Burning Man Ignis. Oh, he on fire. He hot. That's hot. What? I'm gonna just. I'm gonna use it. This crackling and billowing. This crackling, billowing creature twists slowly above an iron grill upon the floor of the bar. It may have been human once, but now its skin is charred beyond recognition. Dude, it looks like the goddamn the the the, the fury from <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3. Or yeah, yeah. No, no, the the sorrow or something, but he's like on fire. It may have been human once, but now its skin is charred beyond recognition. Streams of fire form a wreath around the creature's body. The flames lick at the few remaining pockets of flesh, causing them to bubble and run like wax down the creature's skeletal flame. Frame. I wonder if this decanter of endless water will do something. You tilt the decanter over the grill and begin to pour. A small stream of icy blue water pours from the, from the decanter and hushes the flames of the grill with a violent hissing and a rush of steam. As if in response to this challenge, the decanter seems to lunge forward, falling onto the grill and shattering. By the hells. Hissing billows of steam and furious crackling noise rushes from the grill, spilling over you and forcing you to cover your ears and turn away. There is a screaming, a ca cackling, a terrible sound like a hundred buildings burning. People screaming, their screams being cut short by the roar of flame and melting flesh. Cover your ears and block out the sound! 
As you put your hands over your ears and block out the sound, you feel a stick, stick, hmm? You feel a stickiness on your hands like hot cheese or candle wax. Your ears are bleeding from the sound. You draw your hands back and see them covered with chunks of melted flesh filled with bloody swirls. Try and get out of the bar. You're about to run from the bar or anything to get away from the sound. You suddenly fall. When suddenly all falls silent except for a jag crackling coming from the grill. You turn on the grill. You turn. On the grill lies the decanter of endless water. Now nothing but shards and steam. Above it is the creature. Flame is still training from its body, floating over the bar's floor. It is staring at you, its eyes flickering like two torches. I know you. Yes. Huh? Well, I actually know you? The creature's face splits, charred flesh peeling away from its jaw. So it might speak. Yes. Its voice crackles. Burns roars through the creature's chest, and with every word, flakes of cinder and ash spit from its mouth and drift into the air. You can barely stand to look at the thing. The blazing radiance surrounding it is terrible to behold. Ignis. Yes, long have I slept. Dreams of flames. I am yours. Till death comes for us both. We shall see. Oh, snap, he just... Hears you. Burn. He's in our He's in our party now. Whoa! Yes. Wait, what are your powers? You're just fire boy. You, you, you're, 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 you're literally the human torch. Oh, dude, flame on. What? Can I talk to you? Like, what, what's up with yes. you? Ignis, what happened to you to make you this, this way? This way. A small pocket of flesh on Ignis' cheek pops and runs in a steaming trickle down his jaw. This way. Ignis always was. But you look human. Or at least you look like you were human once. Ignis twists, hunching his head forward as his body spins slowly above the ground. The effect is much like a fiery whirlwind, thermals streaming off his body and distorting the air around him. Still, Ignis. Always Ignis. Alright. Never mind then. I had some other quests. As you open your mouth to speak, Ignis suddenly whirls on you. You are forced to, forced to choke back your words as the heat from his frame floods over you. Ignis, might you... Be sparks in bodies, always seeking to rise. Sparks in bodies, what do you mean? All things burns. Ah. Ignis' head cranes back and throws his arms wide, spirals of flame and heat traveling up his arms. Only need to be kindled. With flames to become Ignis. So you might have been Ignis. So you're saying everyone has a potential to become like you with the right spark? Yes. Ignis grins, cocking his head to the side. Ashes falling from his skull and being swept in the flaming wreath that surrounds him. I have some other questions for you. Hiss! Your heart jumps as Ignis roars several feet into the air, and his jaw tears open. Fiery trills spilling forth like a nest of snakes. No more talk and questions. Silence! But I wish to speak of flames, Ignis, and of burning. Oh, we got XP from that. Your words are like oil. The words are like oil, and you watch them fill Ignis's eyes, fanning the flames you see there. Flames. Ignis drifts down slightly, the heat around him rising as if in interest. Speak, Ignis will listen. I 
I think that's what happened to you to make you this way. This... Well, wait, no, I've seen... We already did this. Is it true you burned down the alley of dangerous ankles? Ignis' face splits the flesh around the corner of his mouth, cracking, then remelting into charred, sneering, red-black pieces. Yes, I dream... Sh I dream shall Ignis share. Maybe later. For now, I wish to speak more of burn. A torrent of flames pours from Ignis. And you take a step back, the air bending from the heat. Streets at night, so cold. Ignis burn the buildings. The dwellers all around from Ignis. The flames and the buildings were as flames. Screams as the dwellerness became torches. I've heard enough Ig Buildings as skeletons, the angled bodies as skeletons, reds and oranges and blacks, the flames spread sing such light. Agnes, I've heard enough. Agnes fury dies, the wrists of flames surrounding him ebbing somewhat. He seems to be lost in thought, perhaps lost in memory. And Ignis was pleased. What were you doing in a smoldering corpse bar? For a moment, you don't... I keep saying it like that. For a moment, you don't think Ignis has heard you. When, you sudden... when suddenly the fires in his eyes dim slightly, and he gives himself a hiss, cinders and ash dancing at the edge of his jaw. Ignis once knew nothing of flames. Yes? Once Ignis knew nothing of flames, he set small fires, tiny flames, tiny flickerings, small bits of flames. Ignis hisses again, ashes and fiery motes drifting from the ruin of his mouth. The fires grew. Ignis set fires in his streets and lit the fires of anger in their hearts. Yes? You speak, but Ignis doesn't seem to hear you. He seems to be somewhere else, as if reliving a memory through his words. Against your will, you stop and listen. They thought to punish Ignis. The small flies from the hive, they wished to see Ignis burn after Ignis set fire to their streets. Tiny mageless mage magelings oh tiny magelings hedge wizards the windcasters tiny sparks of magic came to punish Ignis for burning their loved ones. They sentenced Ignis to burn made Ignis a torch a spitting flame burning burning It was justice they said Justice, you watch mes. Justice. You watch mesmerize as Ignis begins slowly turning again, as he did the grill of the smoldering corpse. But it was not a sentence. There is so much flames and pain that there is no pain. There is light and heat, and the flesh runs as tallow across my bones. And for the first time, Ignis is pleased. Ignis stops his rotation and the gaze falls upon you. As he does, the fires in his eye flare. As it does, the fires his eyes flare and charred grin splits features, the flesh crackling and bubbling as it melts and streams across his face. Ignis wears the face of all hells of flames and his next words are spoken like a death sentence. Not only for you, but for everyone, everywhere. When the planes burn, and all life is torches, and Ignis shall at last be at peace. This dude really loves fire. 
I spoke with the storyteller in the hive, and he mentioned that someone taught you these things. Who? Of learning than teachings, you know. That's a flame erupt from Ignis's mouth in a horrid semblance of laughter. You have always taught Ignis. Ignis, master you. Wait, what? Wait, so I knew Ignis in, our, in my past life, I guess? Me? Are you sure? Updated my journal. Ignis' voice drops and the crackling of the flames dies. Yet, it is the only reason that Ignis obeys you. Flames rise around him in a crackling spiral. Till death comes for us both. Your words to me, your student Ignis. Ignis has not forgotten, master. What? Dude, I'm so confused. How? How would our past self do anything like this? And why? Ignis, if I was your master, can you remember anything about me? Ignis hisses, and for a moment, his features flicker. At first, you think it's the flames, but it's not. It's the flickering of memory. Surrender to the memory. Oh, lore! The crackle of Ignis' flames subsides, lessening the charred of the bones of Ignis' The crackling of Ignis' flames subside, lessening as the charred bones of Ignis' body fold up, twisting itself in until its limbs lie motionless, becoming a stack of wood within a huge iron fireplace. You are staring into a fire, burning brightly within a vaulted room. The fire cracks and spits ember onto the stone floor. Motes are rising from the fireplace. Faintly from the darkness behind you can hear the rasp of someone breathing. I can hear you step into the light. There is the shuffling of sandals and a frail youth steps into the edges of the firelight. His wide black eyes catch the flames and, dim and mirror them. He is nervous. You can hear his muscles shaking, his voice trembling, just enough to increase your irritation. Forgive my intrusion, master. Forgive my intrusion, master. I... You have already intruded, Suppliant. You did so with intention. I will hear it now, then you will leave me to my thoughts. How long ago was this? The boy takes a deep breath and glances at the fire. Master, I dreamed of flames again. Last night, they felt real. Oh, you know. The boy takes a deep breath and glances at the fire. Master, I dreamed of flames again last night. They felt real. And you said that we were to come to you if... It was a dream. Nothing more. Now leave. The boy does not move. His brows draw together and slowly he displays his hands. The flesh around his fingers blackened, burned. How did your hands come to be burned, supplicant? I awoke my hands were as ash. The boy meets her gaze. He is still trembling faintly, but there is an eagerness in his eye voice that which angers you. I dreamed I soared above the earth and the ground and sky were as fire. The world itself was so bright that it hurt to look at it, master. And when I awoke, my hands, they were burned as if I had held a flame within my hands. You lie, supplicant. You have come to me with a story, and now you are in danger of angering me. No, master. The boy's face glistens with a sweaty sheen of fear. No, upon my life I do not. You burned yourself with a candle. You burned yourself with a candle, supplicant, or thrust your hand within one of the pyres in the vault of currents. Now you come to me and tell me a dream burned you? I tire of your lies. The boy falls silent, and to your surprise, his face clenches in anger. No, I, I do not lie. It was a dream that burned me, master. I. No, I do not lie. It was the dream that burned me, master. As you said, it might. 
You might have we felt the power stirring. Stirring. Wait, what? Oh, the boy falls silent, and to his surprise, his face clenches in anger. No, I do not lie. It was the dream that burned me, Master. As you said, it might if we felt the power stirring. They were your words, and I came to repeat them to you and tell you they were true. He holds up his hands. Look, Master. Grab his hands. Before the boy can react, her hand, huge in comparison, lashes out, crushing his burned hands in his grip. The boy screams, Oh my god, wait. Crushing his burned hands in his grip? What? I, I hope... I hope they don't mean like, like we like we actually crushed it. And the boy screams, echoing in the vault. With a snarl, you hurl to the ground in the fireplace. With a snarl, you, mm. with a snarl, you hurl him to the ground in front of the fireplace. And there is a sharp crack as his knees strike the flagstones. Oh my God! Look into those flames, supplicant. Raise your head. Look. The boy is shuddering from the pain from his knees. You watch tears blur his eyes as he raises his head to look into the fireplace. The flames cast his face in a red, gaunt glow. Is that what you wish to hold up? Is that what you wish to hold, supplicant? Is the shaping of flames what stirs your heart? Know that flames can burn. And if you would learn their power, you must suffer their touch. The boy is silent, staring into the flames. You s the boy is silent, staring into the flames. He seems mesmerized. His tears have dried in the heat, and the shaking is gone. The flames are his focus. He is not listening to you, and you feel fury washing over you. If that is what consumes you, enough for you. If that is what consumes you, enough for you to intrude upon my meditations, then I shall teach you of the shaping of flames, supplicant. Your hand lashes out and climbs onto the boy's wrist. He howls as you drag him closer to the fireplace, then thrust his hand into the coals. There is a crackling, a hissing, a burning flesh in his screams. Such terrible yet. To learn, you must suffer, supplicant. You must allow yourself to be burned by the power of that which you wield. Know its torment, and you shall know how to use it against your enemies. Bro, what the f Updated my journal. Your vision clears, the memory streaming away like smoke. Ignis is, ho Ignis is hovering over you. The vision clears, the memory streaming away like smoke. Ignis is hovering above you, his head cocked to one side, and an insane blackened grin smeared across his face. Master. Ignis has not forgotten your teachings. I didn't think this would be a person I actually knew. I thought there would just be some crazy guy that's on fire that we just rescue. I didn't realize we freaking turn a kid into goddamn fire flame on Fantastic Four boy. I didn't think we'd turn him into the human torch. That's pretty messed up. Ignis, about your teaching, about the torments I subjected you to, I'm sorry. Flames, no torments. Ignis slowly turns, twisting above the ground. He may have heard you, but you don't know if the words meant anything to him. For what it's worth, Ignis, I'm sorry you ended up like this. We'll speak again later. Jesus. All right. What the hell?
Hey, she's uh, free. He's free. As you approach the woman to talk to her, Ignis flame. Whoa. As you approach the woman to talk to her, Agnes' eyes flare up, and before you can stop him, he embraces her. She returns his embrace, losing herself in his flames. She does not cry out. Your last glimpse of her is burned into your memory. Her eyes are full of fiery passion and are engulfing love. Nothing is left of her, not even ashes. Oh my god, wait! That was thorough, Agnes, and hasty. I wanted to speak with her. Yeah, what? Jesus. You can't go hugging people, man. Oh my god. Yeah, she just died. Huh. What do you wish of Ignis? Wow. All right. What is okay, so what do you have? Bidding? You just have fire spells? Can you learn any of these? your words. Can you learn any of these? Yeah, learn some basic spells while you're at it, you know? That's crazy. What level are you? I shall serve. All right. Oh, full party, man. Crazy. Six people party? Huh. All right, time to rescue freaking Ingress. Not Ignis, but Ingress. Back for more, eh? Oh, I know. One guy. Is dude invisible? Once again, you're struck by an Tentia Bogar. Cockham's questions. I met a woman named Ingress with very bad teeth. She said she had come through a portal. She said she had come through a portal. What? I met a woman named Ingress with very bad teeth. She said she had come through a portal from some world that had, that was opened by a tune hummed near. By a tune hummed near two cross trees. Can you get her home? He pauses briefly, thinking, I know the portal of which you speak, though I have not traveled it. Though I have not traveled it these thirty years gone. I will take her home, seeker. Go tell her to wait my arrival, then meet me back here. I will tell you if I was successful or not. Updated right, thanks, my dude. journal. Let's go talk to Ingress. Alright. Yo, we just have like a burning dude. Like, I, I understand me looking dead, skull, tiefling of some kind, succubus, and that, uh, and all, <laughs> flame on! Like, <laughs> oh my god. I 
gonna go over yeah done done not too straight up on fire can you even equip stuff what are you you're just a maid this will not part with it all right okay all right Oh, I, at least you can be more inventory space. Thank you for your service, Ignis. Hello. Help Ingress. Ingress, I found someone who can take you back home to your home plane. Ingress falls silent. I want to go. I want to leave this place. His name is Kandrian. He should be along shortly to help you. Trust him, all right. Ingress says nothing, merely nods quietly, her teeth chattering inside her mouth. I'll go back and meet Kandrian at the smoldering, smoldering corpse bar and make sure everything turned out all right. Be strong, Ingress. Updated my journal. Hopefully nothing bad happened. Hopefully nothing bad. All right. We out here helping Ingress. I'm gone. I will hear you. Your will be done. Done. It's crazy. Six person party, that's wild. You still here, dude? Kendrian? Kendrian stands as. Kandrian stands as you approach him. The Tooth Woman wanted you to have these. He says, holding out his hand. She wanted to express her thanks, even out the balance, even out the balance book as if it were, as it were, and be done with the damn things. In the palm of his hands are Ingress's dancing teeth, and he smoothly deposits them into your hand. Enjoy them, Seeker. Updated my journal. Uh huh. Oh. To change the teeth to a different type, select use. The teeth may gain new options and abilities as Mort goes. Oh, shoot. It's for Mort. Piercing damage. Magical weapon. Magical weapon. The teeth rattle about wildly, then suddenly settle down. Hey! Hey, come on! Hey! Hey! 
Hey. Well, you got the magical teeth now. Oh, snap. Actual progress. That's crazy, man. I'm gone. Is this all the party? No, we're missing one more person. That's nuts. That is actually crazy that we have six people now in our team. Can you wear tattoos? I guess so. I don't got any rings and stuff for you, man. AC is three? Yikes. What tattoos do you have? Plus two special to armor class. Charisma. That's all he can wear. I don't think she can wear any tattoos. Warding accuracy. Don't want to part with that. Quiver, though, I have not seen a single cross. Don't want to part with that. I'll tattoo it up. Thought you could use it. Oh, you can't sell it? That's not good. Tattoo of warning, tattoo of accuracy. Uh, we'll do a great awarding then. Helped Ingress. Done. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. I shall serve. 
Can he use the warding one? Yeah, he can. I'm gone. All right. We attack these people. I'm sure we're strong enough. What's up? Yeah. I hear your words. Ignis hears you. What are these? All enemy targets in a few radius. Thirty feet radius. The spell causes all non undead creatures within a thirty foot radius of a target. Flee from the area if they fail. Wow. Caster summons a large magical orb. What a target. One target. Caster. One creature or more creature or objects. Like the magic missile, this spell creates a mystical globe. Which will successfully hit tar its targets. God, it's so loud. Playtime is over. It shall be done. Damn it. I fear I've been wounded. I? How may I help? Check use a bunch of these. I will hear you. I'm listening. Did you see that? Oh, that's crazy. Playtime is over. The Karak sings true. I'm a little out of practice, it seems. Shiawase. May my faith lend me strength. Red small key. Battle axe. What are all these keys for?
and gone. Hi? Why not? Ignis will one day kill you all. Jeez, dude. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm gone. Okay, what's our mission? That's a vial of skin and blood. Shop. I'm gone. Why not? Damn. Done. What's in here? Oh, this guy. Done. Same thing as before. Done. Hmm. You can buy a friggin' vial or something. All right. Huh. <laughs> I have some questions. The old engineer in the foundry tells me I need to get a sample of my blood and skin for this machine to work. I need you to do that for me. A scraping? Very well. It takes off a razor blade and a wide mouth bottle. Pestle then removes a small section of skin from your forearm, placing it into the bottle along with a small quantity of your blood. 
then places some gauze over your wound and your hands, and hands you the bottle. You need anything more, sir? No. Wait, yes. I want to buy a couple of these. This is the only one you had, never mind. All right. Dream vial. All right. Maybe she gives you a quick half bow. Come back. You to buy something? I had some questions. Yeah, that's your merchandise. Angleless eyes. Teeth of Fire Drake. Usable by more. Immunity to fire. Only usable by nameless one. Ashes of the Pabulum. These ashes are all the remains of a school of illusionists called the Pabulum. No one knows what the talons originate from. What do they do? Look at the power of these ashes. Only one needs to stir them in with the next finger. Then sprinkle a pinch of ashes into the air into a circular pattern. The smell of the remains of these dead mages is said to cause a trellin to appear to serve the user. Oh, okay. Okay. You have this scroll of cloud kill? Assuming green means we have it already. A green means you don't. But Modrons? Where do I get Modron, dude? Invokes raised dead. In actuality, this is a living spire, not jewelry. When attached to one's wrist, the spider will sink its wings. Beneficial and... Oh. Damn. How about no? Done. How about a no? Low reward. All right. Probably need to buy like something for uh, Ignis. I'm gone. The weapons, dude. His weapons. Enchanted harm, har hammer. Hmm. 
that's about it, huh? Let me see her wares. Oh, there we go. Created from the blood of ring able to okay. Armor class six. Whoa. Plus two to armor class. This results in making it harder to hit when it hits. Created from the blood of a displacer, this ring is able to partially to redirect the force of any ordinary weapon. Results in making the. Why is it 900? They're wearing scale armor. Uh, plus two. Wait, I thought I can wear these, right? No. Only usable by fighters and thieves. You have a ring of almost invisibility. Okay. So you could have another ring. You're good. You're good. Let's go one of those and one of these. One of those and some of these and some of that. Partially redirect a force of any. You're already at negative one. Yeah, you're at negative one. Or class is zero. You can't wear.
right. Okay. Let's start this dream machine. Done. Done. All right. Moving. It's crazy. Maybe there are just six of us now. I got it right here. Take it. Show me my dreams. Updated my journal. The machine requires a birdcage adorned with razors, fine wrought to mimic the destructive powers of dreams and their ability to capture our hearts and imaginations. Search the siege tower for a cage I have commissioned. How do I get in there? Find a way. Wait, the siege tower? Oh, god damn it. How do yeah, I've proven yourself to be resourceful. Find a way. Alright, well. That's a cage. A prosaic. Very well. Uh, never mind. I guess we're not starting the dream machine. All right. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. This is the siege tower. This air is making my skull itch. Are you in the siege tower? God damn it, I thought I, I thought I have to go find birds in here. What the heck? Alright, well, from that, we're going to end it for tonight. Thanks for stopping by, my dudes, tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow with, uh, maybe do more of this, who knows? Anyway. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.